what is up? Um, bad news. Um, so I took my GoPro with me last time I was at Indy, which was this past Saturday. And I started to record some, and my camera shut off. I was like, oh, all right. So I started looking for my GoPro case. Couldn't find it. Was it anywhere in my car? Was it anywhere in my pit area? So I'm like, oh no. So I only got like 30 seconds of recording from last time. I'll include it. You've already seen it. It's the beginning of this video. <laughs> my bad, guys. I'm sorry. But hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it's your trusty little knothead here. Um, sorry I didn't record last night. Kind of inundated with work. Um, I said I normally like to do record on Tuesdays, but this week has also been kind of bad. I've had a kid home uh, basically every day but today, and it's not been fun. I mean, it's not been bad, but it's not been fun. But working at home, watching a kid, not cool. It's not cool. It's like working three jobs at once. Um, but yeah, so that being said, let's let's talk about the last couple of weeks of racing that I've had, and... Yeah, here we go. Um, start with the most recent one, which was this past Saturday. Um, things were going okay. Had a pretty decent day. Uh, started out, I was still running the silver, silver hexagons, or as Carl likes to say, the sexagons. Yeah, the sexagons. Um, and they're okay. Uh, they're not a tire that I wouldn't tell you to bu not to buy, but they're not a tire that I would recommend. I'm liking them. I probably will get some more. Um, they seem to work well at Indy, especially when it's dry. Um, kind of a round pin, kind of spaced part. Um, kind of weird, but they're not terrible. Um, I ran those all day. And then in the main, apparently, your boy, um, the shock shaft came out of the ball end and so I drove around the main with three shocks working. That's always fun. Um, so I might retire those hexagons. Actually, I'll probably burn them up this Sunday, um, which I'll talk about here in a second, um, just to get them down and uh, get rid of them. Um, the last time I was out prior to that was the previous Saturday, and that went okay. Um, oh no, it was Shaw's. It was Shaw's. Uh, or was, no, it was Tuesday. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I went out this past Saturday. I went out the previous Tuesday. I didn't do any racing last Saturday. Tuesday night was Tyler Hook's RD night because Titus was out on vacation. And we got to hear the sultry voice of Tyler Hooks all night long, um, which is cool. I like Tyler. Tyler's a good guy. I love his candor. Um, I love his honesty. He's a great dude. He's a great leader for tech now. I'm glad to have him in the area and glad to have him in, in the city now. He's, he's, in the, he's in the Metroplex, as well as Jared Wiggins and Kitty Roxbury. So we got some pretty high-hitting people now in the DFW area. Um, that went all right. I mean, I'm not going to... It was okay. Um, first time running the 5200 packs because I lost both of my 6000 packs in the same week. Um, turns to find out there was a known issue with the tab on those coming unsoldered, and I literally lost two batteries in a week. It's like, uh. So I'm trying to find a way, trying to find my way now, relearn the car a little bit, a little bit lighter of a battery, a little bit lower center of gravity, but I do have these. Uh, neoprene pads that I actually put under the 6,000 packs. Um, these are 1 8 inch just neoprene foam square pads. I ordered off of eBay, or as you were off of Amazon, not eBay. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video for it. What I do is I just trace out the, the shape of the battery, put it underneath the battery, and on the 5,200 packs, if I had them inside, which I should have them inside, they're not. Um, what it does is just add a pad, a layer, uh, under the pad to kind of help keep the case a little bit more defined uh, or not defined, a little bit more protected and add a little bit of cushion to the battery, give it a little bit more life. Um, I have several of them. Um, I'm going to give some because I borrowed a battery from a guy to get me running at Shaw's, which I'll talk about here in a second. Um, but they seem to work. 
Uh, you can also get thicker ones and put it under ESC if you want to, which I probably will. I might even just use my 1 8 inch um, just to add a pad to that. Uh, so, it, you know, it takes a little bit of the impact away out of it. Shaw's last Shaw series race. Everything was going great. First round was okay. Second round was okay. Um, I mean, I think I qualified fourth overall. Yeah, I qualified fourth overall. And on my warm up lap for the main, I go over the first jump, everything's fine. Go over the second jump, a little bit of a fly landing. Car stops. Uh oh. Uh oh. No response. Okay. Yeah, it was the tab. The tab went out on that pack. Right at the main. So I didn't even get to finish. And then my dumbass didn't shut my car door all the way. So my car door is cracked a little bit and the battery's running. On top of like loading my car intermittently, not keeping the car running. I had to get a jump start. I feel stupid. Broke my battery. Didn't have a backup ready to go. Never needed one. And I needed to jump start on my car. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, still had a good time, though. So I'm still looking forward to Shaw's. Uh, I kind of got talked back into RC Pro at Shaw's. I was kind of thinking about stepping out. Um, but I got talked back into it because there's going to be ample places for me to be able to go and sit in air conditioning. I get I get really bad reaction to the heat. It's kind of bad and scary. And it's ew. And, um. I almost bowed out at Shaw's this past week because of it, but I mean, we set up a tent, put an air conditioner, and it was great. Oh, it was amazing. Um, but I also got these cooling towels that I haven't tried yet. I literally just got them today. Um, these are also off of Amazon. It was a four pack for like 18 bucks. Um, I'm going to take one with me to Indy on Sunday just to see how it works. Um, I also have some yard work to do at my house, so I'll probably crack one open for yard work. I've really got to get my backyard under control. Um, but I have these and I have people that'll let me hang out in their air conditioners. So I'm back at RC Pro at Shaw's. Um, and then there's RC Pro at Indy, which I'm definitely down for. Um, and then there's Southern Nats, Southern Nationals. Uh, registration opens for that July 1st. I think it's 8 p.m. I have to go back and check. Um, kind of not happy with it being late in the evening. But. It is what it is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to register for one class now just so I can get in and I'll fill heat uh, with 40 plus because, I mean, 40 plus isn't going to fill up. But if it does, I miss out. Well, and I sit around for like 18 million thousand hours. Um, or I'll sign up for both, pay for one now. I don't know. I figured it out yet. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and sign up for both and pay for it probably what I'll do because you know it is what it is uh, I did sign up rc sign up dot com uh, for southern for Shaw's uh, July second weekend in July so I'm on the hook for that um, and yeah so this coming Sunday if you haven't tuned into it RC family benefits there's both a Facebook group and a, web, a Facebook page for it it's for the RC community to get together and do something for somebody time in need. It kind of started locally, but if it gains traction, it could go everywhere. And what it is, is basically we just do a benefit race. If you want to call it that we do a benefit event, a charity event. Um, we're doing it this Sunday at Indy RC world to help benefit Paul Schleybach and his family. If you have not had the opportunity to meet Paul Schleybach, it's one of the best RC dudes I know. Um, I'm going to talk to him on Sunday, guys. I'm going to talk to him on Sunday. I haven't seen him in a while, and I love this man. He's a great dude. He's one of my best RC guys. Um, he had an incident in his family, so we're doing stuff. I know there's a raffle for a new HB kit, which I might jump in on if there's still a raffle spot open on it. But they also do auctions and other raffles and goofy races. Nothing serious. If you bring your serious face to this, you're not doing this event right. I have not missed an RC family event yet. I won't miss one if I can afford if I can avoid it because literally it doesn't matter. It's 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 literally like kind of an opportunity to come up and try stuff out. 
So what I'm doing is tomorrow after I go to the Dallas Stars equipment hockey sale, hockey equipment sale, I'm going to run over to Indy. I need to get some new diff oils. I'm going to get some 9K. I'm going to try 9K in all of my diffs. I have been running seven. I'm going to try nine because the traction's up. And just see what happens. Um, so I'm going to try that on Sunday. I'm going to try nine in all my diffs. Um, and I'm going to try a pill change and see what happens because I want to have fun. And I don't really care how I do because that's just for fun. But I'm also going to take my max because I want maximum derp. And I promise, guys, I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to record stuff. I'm going to talk to Paul. And I will be sure I have my GoPro case on me so I can record more than 30 seconds. Um, but that's all I have got now. Um, I will definitely try to record next week as well. And get back on schedule with it. Hopefully work doesn't you know, keep me too tied up. If it does, from now on out, I'll start recording in the evenings. Then you might get to hear from my wife. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I will see you at the next time at the track.